Love is a beautiful thing. And every perfect tool wants to kill into it. It's quite desiring with a huge quest to submit yourself to the man of your dream. He will care and gather for you. He will protect you and oftentimes sing praises. Though he might not be a praise singer, but is actually targeted at elating your spirit of love for him. In my own case, it took the reverse. The love I know turned sour. Mm. Love was indeed blind, but marriage opened my eyes. This is my story. And I call it Beverly's Diary. Where is my wife who would have been better? I don't understand. It would have been better if you had said, Where is my wife? and not, Where is Beverly? Good. So, where is she? <sighs> She's not yet back. Really? I mean, what could be keeping my wife from coming back home at this time? She's here. Hi, baby. Hey, baby. How are you? How are you? I'm not so fine. I mean, I was worried. I was bothered. I mean, this is 5.30 to 6 p.m. and my wife is not home yet. So it just got me thinking. 
And what were you thinking, baby boy? I honestly don't know what I was thinking about, mm. but definitely not traffic. Of course, we all know that we don't have traffic issues here in the coal city. <laughs> definitely not traffic. Okay, I got a file to work on from the regional manager, so that took almost all my time, mm. baby. You sound tired and stressed yes, as well. Baby, and uh, uh, I mean, I, I think we should head upstairs for a little exercise just to help <laughs> regain your strength. <laughs> hmm? Can you stop? Which exercise? At this point, I think I am out of this discussion. <sighs> of course, you shouldn't. This is adult talk, not for children. <laughs> hmm. So I think I need to fix up something in the kitchen. Uh, babe, mm -hmm. that's a definitely no for me. I mean, 15 to 20 minutes of your time up there, it won't stop you from fixing whatever you have to fix. Mm. You know? <laughs> Don't think about that. It's all right. I've had one previously. something for me. What is that baby? I want you to stop working. I need you to turn in your resignation letter first in tomorrow at your workplace. I need you to start taking up your role as a wife in her husband's house. Are you being for real? I mean, I, I don't, I don't understand. What is it you don't understand? I just told you to stop Work. Read my lips. But you, you know, it's, it's never going to be possible. Breakfast is ready. Mm. Um, let me quickly rush in and dress up because I'm running late. Late for, for what? For work. Are you stupid? I thought I asked you to stop working. Baby, there's no, there's no way you expect me to stop work and be a housewife. Yes, I know there are my responsibilities, but. I would still work and play my role as a wife. I don't care whose responsibilities they are, okay? I asked you to stop working. Baby, but... But! No buts! No buts! All right? 
Now, if you insist that you want to work, right? You insist on working, then you should continue that from your father's house. Don't dare me. a slight headache oh that's the most expected symptom i mean i've been expecting to hear this for a long time now come on my brother is a sharp shooter and in nine months time mama will come visiting far from that not so far from it then what Dear brother. Okay. He said I should stop work. Stop work? Yes. Stop work? Why? I just saved you your breakfast and you, you didn't even say a word. What? Why couldn't you ask me what I'll have for breakfast instead of serving me tea for breakfast? What, what nonsense is this? But it's, eh? but it's proper for breakfast. Tea and bread. How do you expect me to start up a new week on a Monday morning feeding on some colored water and slices of bread? Who does that? So sorry. No, 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 no. You're not sorry. I know you. You're not. This is wickedness of the highest grade. You know what? You have to go and find where you're going to bring apple, hot one oh, with plate of unsala soup. That will take me. Okay? That should take me for as long as I want. Not just today, but for the fresh week. Alright? So that's what I want to have for breakfast. Go get it. I don't understand. How can a normal person eat apple and salad soup in the morning? That's not possible. I mean, how is your day going to be, my husband? Are you the one telling me what I ought to have for breakfast in my house? Huh? I'm sorry, my husband. Leave the way. So, what do you want for breakfast? I said, leave the way. Maybe can you tell me? Debbie, 
How long did it take you to prepare this? Not so long. I just made it sharp sharp. Just for you, baby. Hmm. The aroma smells really nice. You like it, right? Of course. Wow. I just made it for uh, you. I'm sorry. But I won't be eating this. After all the stress. You heard me. But you said I should Shh. not looking bright. Hi. What is the problem? Uh, nothing. Nothing. I. I was a knight. So I did. I slept well. Good. She didn't eat your food again, right? Oh. 
yes, yes. He, he was in a hurry, so he left. So. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. How come you served him up with this morning? I made tea for him. But he said he wanted abu and a sala soup, which I made comfortably. This is it here. What am I doing? What am I not doing right? Oh, you mean you made the tea, the apple and the soup this morning? This morning. I made them all for my husband. For peace to reign. This is serious. Mm -hmm. Honestly, you deserve an award, Beverly. <laughs> hey, hey. Ooh. Stop. Stop, okay? You don't have to cry all day. Mm. It's fine. It's fine. He signed it. He spent down an agreement, right? So he's legally binding by that agreement. And you know, with this brand ambassadors, it's really not an easy task. Yeah. People think it's just, you know, being a brand ambassador. They don't understand the obligations involved. It's not easy at all. You know, most of the times, the company obligations do interfere with their own daily activities, whether it's shooting or anything he needs to leave all of that and come forward for the company's obligation. That's good. That's good. So how can I how can I get one for my father's company? You know, since the company is now booming, you know, growing so fast, I would like to at least have one to help us, you know, boost the company more. Uh, it's simple. It's easy. Yeah. <laughs> All you have to do is, I mean, look out. There are lots of celebrities out there. All you have to do is just carefully look at which celebrity has the right charisma to sell your brand. That's all. That's good. Uh, Ken, please. I am very hungry. Can we go now and eat? Please. I have the best chef in the whole world for a wife, Beverly, okay? <laughs> Look, as I'm even talking about it now, I'm beginning to salivate. The only thing that can quench the hunger and taste right inside of me right now is the food she prepares. <laughs> You're very lucky, bro. I just wish I can say something about my wife like that. When it comes to cooking, my wife scores zero. What I mean zero, I mean zero. I try as much as possible to encourage her, you know, so that she wouldn't see that as, as her weakness. So that's it. Well, you're right. You're right. You know what? Let's just go and eat, all right? But I'm not going to eat so much because I don't want my wife to find out that I ate outside. All right, you know what? Let me even call my wife to find out what she's preparing for dinner tonight. See, I can eat five plates of food and still eat five plates of your wife's food because she's so good in and out. <laughs> you can say that again. Hello, baby. Yes. I'm doing okay. Well, I just called to find out what's for dinner. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so, um, I want fried rice with 
fried plantain, and you know my favorite, fresh oranges to go with it. <laughs> okay, I love you, baby. Hi. Jay! I, I, <laughs> I wish I can just itemize all the things I want to eat for dinner just the way you did. If I try that, my wife will give me roasted rice for dinner. And if she, if she does that, I will eat it happily. You know, I, I wouldn't want her to feel bad. That will never change what I feel for her. You know, I love her and I always love her. Yeah. yeah. For real, bro. I mean, for real, bro. I mean, meeting and ending up married to my wife, Beverly, just got a long way to make me even believe more in the scripture that says that he who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's good. Ken, can we please go and eat? I am hungry. Sorry, let me just uh, tidy up stuff. <laughs> I know you're tired of this. Uh... <laughs> As you're doing that, um, I think I should. Um, that uh, ambassadorial uh, stuff we talked about. I think I should just pick a musician, not an actor like you did. Still works. Yeah, still works. All right, let's just uh, let's get let's get out of here. Dinner is served, but quickly go in there and freshen up so you can come down and enjoy your food. I will do just like you said, okay? Just give me a couple of seconds. I will be right back. What sense is this? Eh? What is this? Is there anything wrong with you? Have you lost it? Why can't you just tell me that you don't have strength or you don't want to make food for me today? And I would have just done it myself. There's... Mm -hmm. there's nothing wrong with this food. Yes, there's nothing wrong. Even the juice is fresh. Baby, please, that's not... Boy, are you now? Are you mad? Are you nuts? What is wrong with you? Are you lost? You, your, your sense of taste? Can't you tell this, that this thing is rubbish? How can you be calling this rubbish, okay? Listen. I'm not gonna eat this nonsense. Okay? in this house. Why you do me so? Why you let me go? 
enjoying the food. Just, just tell me the truth. Don't make me feel happy. Is the food okay? <laughs> Beverly, everyone knows that cooking is your thing. And no one doubts your cooking prowess. Are you serious? Yes. It is very sweet. As a matter of fact, I am enjoying myself. Even the fruit juice is so sweet and fresh. Oh, I blended it myself. Wow, you did? Yes. Oh, come on. That's so nice. Anyway, why the question? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. It's just that. Your, your brother complained about my food. About his very food? Yes. Oh, come on. You should have been used to him by now. <laughs> you know he's not always serious. Because <clears throat> I was wondering if I don't know how to cook again. Come on. No one will eat your food and say it's not sweet. Even the devil will eat it and acknowledge your cooking <laughs> You mad. <laughs> Thank you for making me to laugh. Come on, you're welcome. Come on, your food is so sweet. Mm. Mm. Yummy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Just <laughs> wait. Do you want some more? The city of Aquaibo. Mm. So beautiful. Yeah. Ah, I like that place. Yeah. I mean, the governor there is so awesome. I mean, he takes good care of the copper sale. Really? Very, very. Oh, wow. I'm telling you. Wow. You know, it, it, it was actually my very first time on this city of Aquaibo. Oh. Yes. And I must confess, I like that place. I yeah. like the people. They're very nice people. Yes. Yes, you can say that again. In fact, I'm one of the beneficiaries of this land of love. Oh, really? Yeah. Hmm. You know, one day I see so many beautiful projects, you know, a lot of infrastructure. The government splashed Everywhere. out so much money Light, just to beautify that city. You know, uh, it's so beautiful and... Yeah, every way so clean. I mean, the rate of development there is quite massive. Just like the love I have for you. Right. So. <laughs> you know I love you, right? I know. Mm. <laughs> <laughs>
He's getting cold already. Yeah. Like it's melting already. You never expected it. <laughs> Want some more? No, no. I'm okay. There's some five percent to me. Try and some. I don't know how I'm going to do about it. Now, ah, if it's not fetching my where am I here? Uh, mm. Me too. Mm -hmm. Sent it to them so they will not compile it and all that. Right. Mm. Maybe I'm, I'm just thinking of, I mean, we going for a vacation. Where exactly are you going to? Yes. Modi. Modi, which is fine, but I just want to go to tea, see Charles. Charles Modi, Charles Modi. <laughs> you have to do it fine because if it's the other one, you need to do it fast. Uh, mm. mm. So you think it's, your nails are so, so pretty, so fine. Yeah, thank you, baby. So like um, looking all over right now. Looking more. No, I didn't see anything. Looking world, I heard you. I was only just there in my mind. I mean, I just want, I feel, I feel, I feel like doing something crazy to my wife. But you left me to die for the world. But baby, you know that this love I was through. I've been waiting.
Who is this stupid pest that will not allow me to sleep, eh? Good. Good morning, my sweet husband. Spare me that nonsense. Who's your sweet husband? Huh? Sounding as if I've been nice to you. You've been nice to me. Yes. Please, can I at least kiss you on, on your cheek? And, I mean, the way we used to. God forbid. Hey. I'd rather receive a kiss from a python than from you. I make your breakfast for you, my love. Stop it. Take those last two words off it, okay? Go ahead and prepare something you think is nice for breakfast. this nonsense? Baby, it's not nonsense. It's Abu and the Ikusi. That's what I prepared this morning. Are you okay? Are you normal? Huh? What kind of a reasonable woman would prepare Abu and the Ikusi for her husband? On, a, on, a, on, on any morning like this? I don't understand you. Something heavy like this. You want me to go to my office and be sleeping and lazing around? No, no, don't, don't, don't. Talk when I'm talking. Wait, let me, let me finish talking. Ah, should you not be reasonable enough to know that you're not supposed to serve this to your husband on a new week? On a Monday to, to, to start with? On a work day? Is it everything that I'll tell you? Don't, don't say a word until I'm done. You should be reasonable enough to prepare something light for your husband as breakfast. Sorry, but I prepared you something light the other day. You kicked it out. And you said you needed something heavy. Well, That's why I, I... Shut your mouth. Shut up your mouth. Did you have sense? What kind of, what kind of shit is this? Eh? Why did I buy this uh, a senseless big head? You don't think this is everything I have to tell you. It's coming. 
I'm not even up to a year old in marriage and I'm seeing all this. Love is indeed blind. But no matter how blind it is, a marriage such as mine will open the eyes of love. I've seen the both side of a coin toast against me. The bad side of what was supposed to be happiness for me is all I can see. What is my fate here? I don't want to be a divorcee. <laughs> Where have I gone wrong? What is it that I'm not doing well? Ken wasn't this way until it lately. He had turned to something else. my home work for me. I don't want my stories to be heard outside. My marriage has turned to a war zone. Kennedy, Kennedy, you hurt me a lot. You hurt me a lot. But I still love you. And enkindle in us the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit, and they shall be created, and they shall renew the face of the earth. Kennedy's queen, <laughs> our chair. <laughs> I've really missed your meals. <laughs> wow. 
Fred, honestly, this is no time for play or jokes. Yes, I seriously need your help. What is it? Your friend. <laughs> My husband. Fred, I don't know what is going on. I don't know. I'm losing my marriage here. I hope all is well. Fred, all is not well. Fred, all is not well. What is the problem? Fred, I'm now my, my husband punching bag. Yes. My husband no longer accepts anything from me. I mean, everything I do doesn't make sense to him. Fred, could you believe my husband asked me to stop work? And I did. He's still not happy with it. Fred, I just want you to help me ask my husband if I have done anything wrong to him. <laughs> so I can apologize. Oh. Uh, Beverly, <laughs> Beverly, wait. I... <laughs> I find it difficult believing that. Well, let me ask, do you have any other husband apart from Kennedy? Oh, oh wait, 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 wait. Did you say he hits you? Yes. Kennedy hits me on a daily. He hits me not once, not twice. He hits me every day. I don't think he's not going to stop anytime soon. Beverly. I'm, I'm sorry. This is not true. No, I, I, can't, I can't believe you. I cannot. This is, this is not the Kennedy that I know. No, it can't be true. You know what? Just don't worry, okay? Let me just go. Okay. Huh? I, I have to run. Alright? Why do you keep telling me that your wife is okay? Whenever I ask of her. So, you know what? I will call you back later, okay? That is not the answer to my question. What is going on between you and your woman? I don't know where all these questions are stepping up from, but I can tell you this. My wife and I, were good. We're cool. There's nothing going on. Ken. When did you start lying to me? Okay. I went to her office the other day just to check up on her. And I was told that um, she has been replaced. Really? Was that for me? You must be silly. Oh, look, Fred. <laughs> I don't know what you've heard or whoever has said what. I don't get it, okay? But I'm going to tell you this for free. There is nothing going on between me and my wife. All right? I mean, you can confirm this by speaking with my junior brother. I called her on the phone. Guess what she told me? Still, I've been waiting for this part. <laughs> because, I mean, she clearly speaks to you on a lot of stuff. Anyways, I don't know what she has told you, okay? But take this from me, Fred. There's nothing going on between my wife and I, okay? I don't know what you've heard, but I'm going to tell you this. If anything occurred between I and my wife, I've apologized for that. Ken, you're lying to me. I will join forces with her if I confirm that all you're telling me are lies. Did you hear that? Anyway, I was actually going for lunch. Do you care to join me? Oh, how? back to the client this time, okay? Look, I've actually 
promised my wife that I'll back home early this afternoon for lunch. Okay, so maybe some other time. Kennedy! Bredo! <laughs> Very good. All right. All right. See ya. Right. Yeah. Shit! She, she, she has told him everything. Honestly, I don't know how to put this. But all I know is that he has not been fair to her lately. Does he beat her? Well, he has never beaten her before me. There was a day I suspected that, but then, you know, Beverly will never spill it out, so people around don't get to know it. Did he come back earlier today for lunch? Lunch? <laughs> Kennedy no longer eats her food. So even if he comes back, he will still not eat her food. I went to his office earlier today and he swore that all is well with them. In fact, he even asked me to come here and ask you. Ask me? <laughs> so funny. I guess he wants me to tell you the truth. Well, things end the way it used to be with them. The, the, the funny thing there is that he always acts as if all is well each time I'm around them. I know him for pride and male chauvinism. But this shouldn't be implied here. But pride and male chauvinism doesn't mean he should unleash his anger and even beat up his wife. What of um, Beverly? She's sleeping upstairs. All right. I think I should be on my way. All right? Thank you, Sugar pie, my love. Where are you, <laughs> baby? with you for you to call me your love yes so am I of course baby I mean, you don't necessarily need to tell Fred what's going on here I mean, doesn't 
see why the boss. Look, I'm gonna make it up to you. Okay? I love you very much. Did you just say you love me? Yes, baby, from the depths of my heart. I love you, baby. And I promise I'll make it up to you. Okay? All right, baby, I want you to go in there and look for something really nice and elegant. Because I need my baby to look really good. I want to take you out for shopping. You serious? Of course. Whatever makes my wife happy. <laughs> Are you serious? Yes. I'm dead serious. I love you. <laughs> come on, come on, bit. So I believe we all had a nice time. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, no, so who was that uh, young lady that you left us to go and meet? Oh, that's my new catch. <laughs> and guess what? And I promise never to treat her the way you've been treating your beautiful wife. Tell him. Yeah. No, so be telling him. <laughs> If he wants to listen, he will listen or hear. Uh, no, so. Yeah? Please. Pull aside, pull aside. I need to come down. I should pull over? Yes, yes. Why do you want to come down? No, 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 I won't. I prefer to stay in the front. You can stay in the back. Baby, can you stop? Thank you, thank you. Why do you want to run this moment? 
Okay. Exactly, are you talking about the part where you were saying that you're not going to treat your wife like I treat mine? So is that why you stopped me here? Look, did she discuss anything with you? Did she, did she tell you anything about me maltreating her or something? Kennedy, you're speaking with the wrong person. Okay. Say those words if you flatter me. Oh, come on. It's not a flatter. I can bet a million dollar on it. <sighs> and thank you for appreciating the little beauty in me. It's not little. Come of it. <laughs> That reminds me. What did you tell Nanso? Like what? Well, he said you told him that we're not getting along. Don't mind Nanso. Don't mind him, man. It's all in the past. Tell me, what are you up to? Nothing. <laughs> I just, um, I just want to go and have my shower. And... Uh, okay, don't do that. Uh, don't do that. Uh, when you start biting your lips, I know what's in your mind. <laughs> okay. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay. Damn, you're so gorgeous. 
Thank you, baby. Are you still working on this project? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Baby, I'm I'm done with the laundry, so. But the the washing machine was faulty, so I used my bare hands to wash the clothes. You washed your clothes, huh? No, our clothes. What? Hmm? Who asked you? Who asked you to wash my my, my dirty clothes for me? And you use your bare hands. What kind of a stupid woman are you? Because the washing machine is faulty, so I used my hands. Oh, will you shut, shut up your mouth? Eh? Will you... oh, come back here. It's okay. It's alright. Come back now. You would have come, I would have shown you something now. I would have bet you blue and black. Nonsense. Nonsense. To distract me. Let me see your leg in this in this room today. Your brother is not happy with me. Why? Because I washed his clothes and he, he threatened to... Threatened to do what? He wants... He... Nani! 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 So it's true. I mean, Candy, why did you grow this sudden hatred towards Beverly, your wife? Tell me! Oh, so you want to beat her up again, right? Or you think I don't know you used to beat her up? Me? Beat my wife up? I don't understand. Where's that coming from? You know what I'm capable of. I can't do such a thing. I love my wife. I mean, at least you're my brother. And I know that I'm pretty confident that you can swear for me. Oh, Kennedy, gone were the days when I could swear for you. Not anymore. I don't know you to be this way. I always tell people about us. Oh, why? Why? 
Why do you always go apologizing? Each time I am a third party. Why? Kennedy, you're not the man I married, I swear. Oh. <laughs> Baby, if there is ever a time that you forgive me, now is the time. Hey, there is a little boy in this house, please. How on earth did my brother suddenly change to something else? I don't know him to be like this. How can he find pleasure in bullying his wife? How? What is wrong with you, Kennedy? What? What is this? Please, of course. So you don't have any other thing to do with money? Why do you always like spending unnecessary money on frivolities? Baby, I got you your favorite pizza. My favorite, I saw what? Did I ask you to get it for me? Eh? You're lucky you're in public. Yes. If not, eh? You are who beat you blue black here. Pop piss this whole pizza on your head. And you know something. What is wrong with you? This head, what do you use it for? Must I always tell you what to do? I know it's a favorite. That's why I I know you like pizza. That's why I you shut up your mouth. Yeah. Oh, you guys are here. <laughs> So that was how the man, you just started. That man all of a sudden came and grabbed my hand with one hand and wanted to use the other one too. Mm, give me a big slap. Ah! Next thing I used that, the other hand there, and hold the hand. Hold it strong like this. Mm, he couldn't move Very it. Nice. I'm telling you, he couldn't move it. He didn't know you were a superman. How would he have known? <laughs> eh? How would he have known? He was thinking I was one of those Ajibo, you know, on the streets. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> These two love beds. <laughs> <laughs> when I heard. Hey, shut up your mouth! I thought it was something serious. Yeah. yeah. He was actually telling me a story. Yeah. <laughs> when I was hearing the voices downstairs, I was like wondering, what's happening? Not knowing that <laughs> it's just my man telling, telling the wife a story. <laughs> I'm just here to pick something and I'm leaving here immediately. Oh. Alright, lovely. Take care. Bye. 
What was that drama you put up there? What do you mean? I mean, I tried to put up a front and you played along. I was even going to ask you how you were able to pull that off. Yes, you even called me Superman. Look, I am proud. I'm happy that you played cover up because that way Fred would not be able to tell that something was actually going on. Kennedy, why are you doing all this? Why are you, why, why are you being wicked to me? Kennedy, I am your wife. Did I ask you to buy pizza for me? Eh? I bought pizza because I know you like pizza. Have I done a bad thing to buy pizza for my darling husband? Are you you're questioning me now, eh? I see. Get down. I should Get out of my car! Oh, you don't want to get down. Wait for me. I'm not going anywhere. Just wait. Welcome, bro. No, no. How you doing? I'm fine. What of your wife? Uh, she stopped over at a corner shop to get some things within the neighborhood. You know, ladies and their ways. Eh? And you couldn't wait for her? Baby, you been telling me I'll be your queen and more. But you left me to die for the world. But baby, you know that this love I was through. I've been waiting for you, and I've been crying with you. My brother said you stopped over at the corner shop in the neighborhood to pick up something. Hi. Hi. He forcefully dragged me out of his car just because I went to his favorite spot to buy pizza for us. Take it. Because of pizza? Take it.
跳ねるワイルドリズムなんですワイルドリズムなんです Why are you doing this to me? Baby, look at me. It's me, Beverly. Your little goddess. Is it Beverly? Your joy and your treasure. Beverly, the one you promised heaven and earth. He promised to build the whole world around me. Treating you. Come here. You stupid. Come here. Come here. Let this be the last time you will ever lay your filthy hands on her. I swear to God, if you ever try that again, I will forget the fact that you are my elder brother and I will fight you. I swear to God, you will regret this. Beverly. 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 Fred, I am sick and tired of all this. Fred, I'm sick and tired. Fred, I'm sick and tired. I'm sick and tired of all this whole thing. I mean, no sane woman will endure what I'm. What I've been enduring for Kennedy. Because. <laughs> Beverly. Beverly, I'm so, so sorry. I'm so sorry about everything that has been going on in your house. I'm sorry. But. What I don't understand is why would Kennedy just turn into a beast? Why? Kennedy, no. <laughs> Kennedy now use my body as a punching bag. Kennedy beats me. Daily. He beats me literally every day. Fred, I. Fred, everything in this house irritates me. Yeah. And so he's the only person that gives me the reason to stay. Beverly, you will not die. 
all I want you to do for me is just be strong. Then we'll fight this together. Okay? I'm sorry I'm crying like this, but tell me what have I done to, to Kennedy to deserve beating Dali. Kennedy beat me Dali. So that I no longer have the right in my matrimonial home. Just tell me what I've done. This is the height of it. Where on earth does domestic violence still exist? I'm sorry. I'm, 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 I'm so, so sorry about this. I'm sorry, please. <laughs> I've been trying to imagine what would be of you if you weren't a graduate. Imagine if you uh, were one local or village girl who managed to be married to that kind of man and you're being brutalized daily. Don't tell me you don't know what to do. There's nothing too good to be done here, and so. I'm just an African woman trying to protect my marriage. Oh, good. I mean, that's an African woman weeping day in and day out. Listen, this is a case of domestic violence. And there are so many agencies and organizations that are there and willing to give out aid to women in this kind of situation. You have to stand up and face it. Not like I don't know about them. But I don't want people to know about my marriage. Because that will end up making us go to court. And all that. People never gathered to settle issues for my parents. I just wish my <laughs> I just wish my husband would return back to his senses. And what if he doesn't? You will end up ruining your life trying to be a good African woman. Listen, this is a case of domestic violence and woman rights violation. You have to bring in the authorities to put an end to this. Yes. Your parents' time is old school and gone. If I may ask you, did your father beat up your mother on a daily basis? Did he? Listen, Beverly. You just have to make hay while the sun shines. Crying won't bring back your joy. Okay? Just think about this. Think about it. My mom. Kennedy, I am not here for handshakes and presentries. This is the highest height of inhumanity for a responsible looking young man like you to be beating up your wife. Subjecting her to psychological trauma. I don't know what you're talking about. Yes! I don't even want you to know what I'm talking about. Kennedy, it's high time you stop lying to me. Treat that woman right. That's all I want you to do. That's all. 
I am at peace you with my not. wife. You are not, young man. You are not. Is that why you're talking to me like this? You need to stop shouting at me. Ah! Ken. Ken, please. Do the right thing. Save this woman from this trauma. Ken, can't you see? She is dying slowly. It's okay. I've heard you. Okay? I have. Honestly. It's fine. I'll stop. So please, stop. We are no longer in talking terms. That things are no longer well between us. An outsider! Because. Uh, because. Hey! Hey! Oh, no. oh, no. It's, it's, it's like you, you've lost your senses. Hey! You, you, you've lost your senses.
So Beverly locked me out of my own house and made me sleep in my own car. Come and open the house for me. Oh, really? Well, go to St. Benedict Specialist Hospital and claim your wife's corpse. I don't render help to unserious people like you. Fred, please. Okay, look, my wife is threatening to leave me. She already sent me divorce papers this morning. I don't think you heard what I said. I said I don't render help to unserious people. And I can't render help to an unserious man like you. Your wife has made her choice. So just respect her opinion. Fred, I swear to God, if you salvage me from this, I would forever remain of good conduct and behavior. I'm sorry. It's too late. She has made up her mind. And she just wanted to remain like that. Listen, if you had come earlier than now, please, go and sort out things with your wife. Actually, <laughs> I am only an, an outsider. Of course not. See, you're not an outsider, Fred. You're my best friend. You should be able to help me, please. Then you stopped her from walking. You made her go through psychological trauma. Well, that's because I, I was just afraid of her having affairs with her bosses in her office.
I suspected that movement. So I throw them to an e-tree. And they appeared like two love birds. So I left in anger. I doubt that. Okay, even at that, did you get any replacement for her? Okay. Did you confront her with that? I mean, to hear her own side of the story. Come on, Ken. You have a very massive company that, that, that will still need her expertise. Why don't you bring her in? Maybe, maybe she'll just be maybe one of the managers or, or a director. It will help the company to grow. And it will even help you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. I, I, I'll do just that. I'll do just that. But I, I still need you to talk to her. Help me, help me. Okay? Look, you're my best friend. You're the only one who could listen to her. Look, you're my best friend. You're the only one she listens to when you talk. I mean, I only just realized how much of a bully of a husband I am. Please, I need your help. Okay. You should go and sort things out with Beverly. That lady went through hell in your arms. Ken, she lost her pregnancy just because you turned her belly to a punching bag. Ken, I don't know what else to tell you. In fact, you are, you are a beast, not a man. Go and sort her things with you. playing PS5. Um, look, I'm not really in the mood for jokes. Do I look like I'm joking? Or do I look like Sabinus who makes joke out of everything? Well, if you must know, I am going back to our family house where I can stay and wait for my NYSE call up. Look, um, my wife is about to leave me. You want to leave me too? I'm sorry, Kennedy. I, I will have to bounce. I'll have to leave here so you don't use me as your punching bag when she's not here. Bro. I'm, I'm your only brother. I know you are my only brother. But my only brother needs to go back for marriage course and counseling. 
so he will at least learn how to treat a woman right. Avoid me. You hit me so bad that I lost my pregnancy. You're not supposed to call me human being. You a monster! Kennedy, you a monster. I'm sorry, baby. I will make you pregnant again. Never I promise again. you. Never again. Never again. You don't. You can never have access to me. You can never. See that it hurts me the more even hearing you say it. Okay, my life will be a total mess without you. Please forgive me. I mean, I, I don't even know what I was doing. I, I, I can't even believe I did all the things I did to you. I'm not proud to be called a man for everything I've done to you. Please forgive me. There's no forgiveness. You have to come to my village with your people so you can collect your common 30 naira you paid for my bride bride. Common 30 naira. You Baby, don't say that, okay? I will pay more just to be with you. My life is a complete sham without you. There's absolutely nothing more to enjoy in life if you're not there with me. Okay? Please find it in your heart to forgive me. This life means nothing without you. I was scared you were cheating on me with your colleagues. My anger rose to the edge, rode you to an eatery. You came down from a man's car and he walked you majestically inside like his girlfriend. So I felt I had confirmed my fears. Since then, things has never been the same with us. Really? really? Kennedy, you dealt with me. Kennedy, you dealt with me. As a matter of fact, I don't want to die in your hands. You've dealt with my heart. You've broken my heart. You've tortured with my emotions. My feelings. What have I not done to give you a happy hope? But all my efforts, you throw all of them to the bin. Wow, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I really had fun. Um, wow. Um, Mr. Martins, thank you very much for taking me out on a lunch. I mean, I never expected it, you know. And the way you opened the car door for me, it's only my husband that does that. I don't understand. What are you up to? Well, first of all, I don't see anything wrong in me opening the cabinet for you. Okay? So everything depends on what any man thinks. But even if I did that, you deserve it. 
even deserve more than that because you are a special quality. All right. Okay, so anyone with you should treat you with care. Right, because qualities like you are rare to come by. Okay? As for the reason I did all that for you today. Yes. Mm, just for the same thing I've been asking you. Please. Please. Oh, that. See, um, Mrs. Kennedy. See, qualities like you are ready to come by. Every company needs someone like you. And a, 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 a growing company like this, with the amount of finance that's been pumped into it, they need the best hand. And that is you. That's why I've been contracted to convince you, please. And listen, if not for any other thing, for my sake. All they, ask, all they are asking is that you tender your resignation letter to your company. Everything has been put in place for you in this company. Take over, okay, an apartment, an executive official car. Plus, series of allowances. Just do this for me. You know, Mr. Martins, I, I understand where you're coming from. I'm sorry to disappoint you, but I am not moving out from that company. Yes. Yeah. Even if the company wants to triple my salary, I'm not interested. You see, money, money doesn't move me. As mother of fact, I, I have a husband who is capable and able to foot all my bills. Okay? Nobody will me with money. Moreover, my company has not wronged me in any way. So I see no reason I should hurt them. In that manner, I got conscience makes a max well. Mrs. Kennedy, we are talking about three times your allowance. I mean, three times your salary. I know, Mr. Martins. Okay? Thank you so much for everything. I understand, but I am sorry to disappoint you. Okay? Um, it's, break time is over, so I need to end the office. Please, just don't make, me, don't make me miss this money. No, don't worry. You miss it. Thank you so much. My percentage. Mr. Marco, thank you so much. What kind of a woman is this? Which woman on this earth does not love money? This woman must be a woman with special quality. Loved you without a compromise. Just let me go. I don't want to shout. I don't want to shout. I want to go. You're my joy and treasure. If you leave me, I will die. I want to build my life around you. With you in it. I promise you, I will never lay my hands on you again. Please, forgive me. You need to start up a new life. If that would be pleasing to you. Okay. Baby, if you leave me, I will never forgive myself. <laughs> I will never forgive myself if you leave me, baby. And also, he's already threatening to go. Please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, please. Forgive me. Okay? I'm sorry. Let me go. I'll never do that again. I will never lay my hands on you again. I promise you that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please, I don't want to lose you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry.
Will he ever lay his filthy hands on you again? No! Never again. I promise. Please forgive my past. Did you forgive him? Yes. A few minutes ago he... He promised never to be a beast again. Never again. Don't know me. Kai, he don't, kai, he don't, he don't kai, know. Kai cool, he don't, he don't give, know. Baby, give him again. Give him. Give him. Yeah. He don't know. He don't know. One, 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 one. Big two. Two, two. two. Don't know. You yeah. know. Yeah. <laughs> I catch you. <laughs> I catch you. Check it out. Check it out. Check Last it card. out. Last card. Check it out. Today, not today. Today, not today. Check it out. Check it out, baby. <laughs> baby, <laughs> let me, let me, let me do you the honor. Okay. <laughs> let me do you the honor. Check it out. Ah. <laughs> you don't know. 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 You don't well, I just allowed you people to win me because he paid my final year school. Oh, you. Oh, <laughs> you. Oh, you. I told you that we're going to win. Of course, we we'll always win. You know Together, we can Together. conquer anywhere. Together, like, inside hey. this world, we gather, we scatter. <laughs> 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 and we bagada. <laughs> just retire honorably. Don't play again, no. Retire. Just retire. I choose to good, retire. Good for you. I choose to retire. Good for you. At the brim of ending it all, I decided to give forgiveness a chance. Even as against my wish. Not because it's worth it, but because love, they say, conquers all things. Yes, but not the same love that saw me through torture, emotionally hurt and psychological drama. Many people would not key into the idea of forgiving Kennedy. But forgiveness is the crown of peace. Now, the love I ever dreamt of is here. My marriage has taken a unique face and I am happy now.
this is my story and it's here in Beverly's diary. That is my story as documented in this Beverly's diary. Left me to die for the